Kentucky, the state where the young have fun. Kentucky, the place where the family group can play together. For those who are interested in the historic shrines and culture, Kentucky combines the best of yesterday with the progress of tomorrow and extends to the visitor the true hospitality of the South. Kentucky's highways, extended, improved, and maintained with all the skills of modern highway engineering, have opened the door to an ever-changing panorama of attractions and striking variety of scenic wonders. Kentucky casts her spell with beauty and splendor and reaches out her hands in welcome for you. On one of the fine highways in the Cumberland Mountains is Cumberland Falls State Park. The magnificent falls, sometimes called the Niagara of the South, are breathtaking in their setting of the wooded hills in the Cumberland River Valley. At night, when the moon is full, the famous moonbow is seen, one of two such natural wonders in the world. A mighty rushing torrent carved these boulders below the falls thousands of years ago. In this richly forested park, every effort has been made for the comfort and convenience of guests. The beautiful DuPont Lodge provides modern accommodations for rest and relaxation, with housekeeping cabins for visitors who vacation here for a night, a week, or more. In the hospitable dining room, excellent food is served at moderate prices. There are recreational activities at Cumberland Falls for people of all ages. Everything here reflects the warmth of Kentucky's welcome to the world. Kentucky's mountains are traversed by splendid roads, which open to motorists all the fascinating events and wide vistas that Kentucky has to offer. Homecoming at Barberville, Kentucky is called the Boone Festival. Here, the citizens reenact the signing of an important early treaty with the Cherokee Indians. During the festival, there is archery and muzzle-loading target practice. The famous Mountain Laurel Festival at Pineville is attended each year by thousands of visitors. The highlight of the festival is the selection and coronation of the Laurel Queen by the governor. And this colorful pageant takes place in the natural setting of Laurel Cove in Pine Mountain State Park. Through famed Cumberland Gap surged the first Western settlers. Today, it's quite different from the wagon trail used by those brave and hardy travelers. From the pinnacle, high above the saddle of Cumberland Gap, a five-state panorama unfolds. The spectacular and inspiring overlooks with lofty mountains capped by wooded palisades are unsurpassed in their beauty. Further east, through the majestic mountains and virgin forests, the highways wind their way to the breaks of the Sandy. The rugged beauty of the breaks is glorious in fall color. Known as the Grand Canyon of the South, the inner gorge is almost 2,000 feet deep. Those who still thrill to nature's wonders in unspoiled natural settings will find the breaks of the Sandy the fulfillment of their desires. Continuing through the mountains, the highways lead to more and more panoramas of breathtaking scope and splendor. In just the past few years, these spectacular scenes have been opened to the visitor by the Kentucky Department of Highways. Carter Caves, up in the northeast corner of the state, is one of the newest of the state parks. X Cave was formed by two underground streams that crossed and made an X. The picnic area is shaded and inviting, and close by is the playground for children. 
The cottages are modern, delightfully cool, and pleasant. There is so much scenic and recreational pleasure in traveling on Kentucky's highways. Here at Levi Jackson Wilderness Road State Park is the Mountain Life Museum, which houses many interesting collections and rare relics of pioneer days. It was near here on the plateau in Laurel County that the bloodiest Indian massacre of settlers in the history of Kentucky took place. In Red River Valley, part of Cumberland National Forest, is Natural Bridge State Park. Natural Bridge is a major tourist objective with extensive trails winding through acres and acres of virgin forests. The beauty of the park is intensified by the magnificent growth of laurel and rhododendron. Cabins are nestled on the wooded mountains near the lodge built on the mountainside, overlooking a scenic lake in the valley hundreds of feet below. A variety of recreational offerings are available to the visitor in hiking, nature walks, swimming, boating, and picnicking. Lake Cumberland is among the 10 largest man-made lakes in the world. The tremendous area of the 104-mile lake and 1,200 miles of wooded shoreline provides wonderful recreational opportunities. Modern highways and bridges lead to fine commercial docks throughout the entire area. On a 3,000-acre wooded peninsula, the state has developed Lake Cumberland State Park with a fisherman's lodge, boat dock, and picnic area. Wolf Creek Dam, a tribute to engineering skill, impounds the water that forms Lake Cumberland. Kentuckians love their traditional folkways, famous ballads, and folk dancing. From this big barn at Renfro Valley near Mount Vernon, network broadcasts of American folk music originate. Old Fort Harrod at Harrodsburg is an authentic replica of the oldest permanent settlement west of the Alleghenies. In the log stockade, there are numerous pioneer cabins and also the first school west of the Alleghenies. Near the entrance to the park is the Lincoln Marriage Temple, which houses the cabin where Abraham Lincoln's parents were married. The bluegrass, land of rolling hills and green meadows threaded by picturesque streams, is one of the most colorful farming areas of the state. Broad, smooth highways carry the visitor past the famous horse farms. Here, on the rolling pastures of lush bluegrass, the future greats of the turf graze. Many miles of white fences surround the homes of the thoroughbred. Here, colts are bred, trained, and later retired. And these farms are among the most visited attractions in Kentucky. The trots are run in Lexington every year on the well-kept course of the Lexington Trots Breeders Association. This course is said to be the world's fastest track. A prize of $68,000 is given to the winner of the Kentucky Futurity, which is second only in Kentucky to the amount of the purse given the winner of the Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby is probably America's most celebrated sporting event. Here in Louisville, racing history dates back to the earliest days. The Derby, started in 1875, is run at Churchill Downs. The grounds, buildings, and people lend a festive air to the exciting sport of kings. The William Whitley home near Stanford on the Wilderness Trail is a state shrine. Built in 1786 by Colonel Whitley, it is the first brick home built west of the Alleghenies. Near Hodgenville is the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. Honoring his memory is this granite memorial in Abraham Lincoln National Historical Park, which houses the cabin where Lincoln was born. On one of the principal highways at Bardstown is Federal Hill, known to millions of people as my old Kentucky home. This is another of the Commonwealth's shrines, 
and is where Stephen Collins Foster was inspired to write his immortal song, My Old Kentucky Home. General Butler State Park near Carrollton, on the beautiful Ohio River, is another of the great recreational spots served by Kentucky's highways. Here, as in all the state parks, there is full evidence of a guiding policy of scrupulous maintenance, moderate costs, and a maximum of facilities for comfort and recreation. The joint planning by the Division of State Parks and the Department of Highways is truly realized in the slogan, More Per Mile. On the way to the western part of Kentucky is Mammoth Cave, one of the seven wonders of the world. Mammoth Cave National Park is in a hilly forested area traversed by a beautiful Green River. Hundreds of miles of charted passages have opened miles of underground views of nature's architecture, carved and colored through countless generations. There are several interesting facts about the cave discovered in 1799. The temperature inside never varies from 54 degrees summer or winter. And there is a mummified body of a prehistoric man, which is considered one of the most interesting archaeological finds of the century. At Fairview is this towering concrete obelisk marking the birthplace of Jefferson Davis, president of the Confederate States and leader of the South during the Civil War. An elevator in the obelisk takes you to the top where the view of the surrounding countryside is magnificent. Close to Dawson Springs is 15,000 acre Penny Ryle State Forest and Park. Within the forest and park are cabins and a lodge for the convenience and enjoyment of visitors. This beautiful wooded park is another great feature of Kentucky with a wide range of recreational possibilities. Penny Ryle gets its name from a weed which grows native to this section and is something like mint. This splendid bridge brings the visitor to one of the greatest recreational areas in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. The expanse of Kentucky Lake is unbelievable with a 2300 mile shoreline, the greatest of the reservoirs built by TVA. Kentucky Lake State Park is a completely developed year-round vacation park. At the park is Ken Lake Hotel with excellent food and accommodations at moderate costs. Swimming in the lake or at the sheltered beach with a modern bathhouse located nearby provides pleasure to guests of all ages. The Ken Lake Boat Dock has established itself as an important asset for fishermen, cruising yachtsmen, outboard motorboating, and the growing fleet of sailing craft. With an increasing flow of visitors from all parts of the country, Kentucky Lake State Park is rivaled only by the great seaside resorts on our coasts. Leaving Kentucky Lake State Park, you can travel along this modern highway a distance of 23 miles to another of Kentucky's park developments on the lake. Kentucky Dam Village State Park is located at gigantic Kentucky Dam. Also open the year round, it offers an endless variety of activities with excellent lodge and cottage accommodations to suit your taste or pocketbook. The lake is formed by huge Kentucky Dam, largest of the TVA's 22 dams, from the Tennessee River. Boat docks above and below the dam have boats and all the equipment needed by the angler. You may fish below the dam as well as in the lake with the assurance that for the patient, there is always good fishing enjoyment. The lake is a mecca for boats and boatmen with boating and cruising possibilities extending for over 600 miles. Cruising craft come here not only from Kentucky and her adjoining states, but also from the sea.
Kentucky Dam Village is a favored vacation spot for Kentuckians and their visitors. The recreational facilities are limited only by your choice of activity or age. A visit here can be restful as well as exhilarating and exciting with playgrounds for the children and for the daring water skiing. Pine Hills Golf Course attracts many visitors, with others preferring swimming in a protected cove of the lake. For others, it's just plain fun or a nice, cozy snooze in the sun. The lodge and cottages are beautifully and tastefully appointed with all the modern conveniences. Every family or individual need has been planned for and is here awaiting the traveler who has the assurance of well-planned and easily accessible lodgings at the end of the day. This bridge over the Cumberland River is the most recent addition to the highway system that makes access to Kentucky Lake easy and comfortable. In the picturesque country on the Ohio River near Henderson is the John James Audubon Memorial State Park. The naturalist artist lived in this area for nine years and painted many of his bird masterpieces using the fowl native to this section as his model. The museum contains the largest collection of Audubonia in the world. The park is especially beautiful in the spring with its wildflowers and delicate blooming trees. Overlooking the valley of the Kentucky River in Frankfurt is the capital of the Commonwealth. The highways that lead to this gracious building symbolize the warmth and hospitality extended to all visitors at the parks and shrines that offer so much more per mile on Kentucky's highways.